Welcome back to The Factor on Censor. The Brazilian butt lift, or BBL, as many of you know it, can really make a difference in a person's figure. Good or bad? Huh? They can come out on the other side of surgery with rounder products, but sometimes someone never wakes up. There's death involved. Despite knowing the deadly risk, a lot of women are obsessed with trying to achieve that look. Let's talk about it. We have with us on the Factor on Censor tonight, Model B star, communication specialist Priscilla Pock, and hip-hop artist Rochelle Gemini. Thank you guys for joining us tonight. All natural ladies. Look at all this <laughs> natural. <laughs> Why would you need it after this natural? But Priscilla, let's begin with you. When you see these BBLs, these big old asses that are kind of like mm -hmm. just different, your thoughts on that? First, I'm going to look. Because, <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> what? Like, we see it too. We see it too. But I'm, I'm curious always to know why. Like, what made you decide to do that? Because sometimes it, it's just where we are with, with social media and with what is projected out there in society today to make you feel like you have to look like that. And sometimes maybe this is how you're going to feel mentally healthier about how you look. Mm -hmm. I think the, the reasoning why and what's it worth to you matters most. And, and be star do you think it's because many women, or some, not many, some women think mm -hmm. Men like big ol' asses, and, and that's, of course, true. True. However, when you get those BBLs, they look obscure. They look different. It's not natural at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that plays a big part of it, too. Mm -hmm. You know, men, they love big asses. Mm -hmm. So when they see that, and when you see men looking at different women with all these big asses, then they make another one be like, you know what, insecure. You know, and they look like, wait, my man like her, let me go get my butt like this. And then it's it's like it's a trend now. Like, everybody's doing it. But it's not every man. You know what not I mean? Not every man. Right, right, right. Yeah, not every man. But nine, ten, nine times out of ten, like, most of the guys that I talk to, they, oh, I don't care about it. I said, how you feel about it? You know, most of them, oh, it's big. But it's, you know, it. Mm. <laughs> but you're in the entertainment you know. industry, yeah. and you have seen a lot. You've seen augmentation. I've seen and, augmentation. And ladies who have taken it too far. What is it like? Do you ever say, mm, what you doing? I'm on my business, for one. Okay? <laughs> but um, I am the friend. I am the person when people do come to me, and they tell me, oh, I'm about to get some fillers. Oh, I'm about to get some of this. I'll be like, you are beautiful. Mm -hmm. if, if you needed somebody to hear that, if you needed somebody to say that to you, you are beautiful. I think us as women, I, I know me personally, my mom, she used to say, beauty is pain. You know, you get your mm -hmm. perm and you burn it a little bit. Now I don't have a perm, you know, we got the natural. But back in the day, I remember beauty is pain. And I feel like we took that to a whole nother level now to the point where we're letting so many other things define what beauty is when it's really, you know, some inner. Mm -hmm. But external is what's in right now. Like she said, it's a trend. Mm -hmm. And so how do you get people to accept natural? Not only those who are putting their lives, Priscilla, in danger, mm -hmm. but men out there like, if she gets this, she could die. But I think it's, to touch on what she talked about, um, it has something to do with who, who's your community, who's around you, mm -hmm. who brought you up, what are you being told about how you look naturally right. and when you don't like something, because that's just human nature. You're gonna, my nose is too big. I don't like my kneecaps. I'm bow-legged or whatever. But when you get that, can I say ass on the show? That yeah. doesn't match the thighs like we've commonly seen on all the memes mm -hmm. and stuff. Do you feel better about that? And what what are the people around you saying? Are they now making fun of you more, less? You know, I think it it's it is an inner beauty thing, but it matters. What does Isaiah say? If mm -hmm. I if I say that, and who are you to me? Mm -hmm. Why why am I weighing your opinion? Mm -hmm. um, and that that's something that I think we've kind of lost sight of. And B, for those who are wondering, how do you get your self worth where you don't get talked into? that BBL or all of this plastic surgery that's going on out there? I honestly would say just, I, I don't know, because can't nobody tell me to, hey, let's go do this, I'm going to go do that. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with my body. Mm -hmm. You know, it might be a little some here that I might not like, but, you know, it's the gym for that. You know, I, I work out, and, you know, you just got to stop being lazy because when you get a BBL, they tell you you got to work out anyway. Mm. Right. So then you could have did, you know, you could do it at the beginning. So I don't know, it's kind of like just, 
It's about you got to be comfortable with yourself. And me, I'm comfortable with myself, with my body. And, you know, now they shame natural bodies, you know, for not having a big butt and big boobs and stuff. But I'm okay with it. You right. know, I love my natural. Yeah, we'll have to bring you all back and talk yeah. about natural yeah. bodies. Yeah. And, uh, they got a big dog for stretch marks. <laughs> <laughs> for real. Ain't little nobody, dimple here and look, there. If you right. turn on stretch marks, you look stupid. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us here on The Factor on Censor. Don't go anywhere.